Good morning, guys. I'm glad you're all here. Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. It's Monday, July 10th, 2023. It looks like we're getting closer to another eruption there in Iceland. And I'm not going to try and pronounce the location of the recent activity. Sorry. Evidently, the translation for the name means fair, dale, or valley. And um, fell, like mountain fell. Or beautiful valley. There has been two eruptions in this area since 2021. Uh, last year, there was an eruption that started in August the 3rd and then ended on August 22nd. And I got a little dot here. It's kind of southwest of the main cone of the uh, volcanic system. There's only one monitor that they have there that I can download data. And for some reason, it doesn't go back. It only starts recording uh, when I connect to the system. But here you can see we got volcanic tremors. This is lava on the move. And you can see all the toxic gases coming up. There is a warning about toxic gases there in Iceland. And let me pull this over for you. Um, we got a little one there. There was a little puff of gases. And we'll pull it over more. Yeah, the lighter color is the gases as they come up. Um, there's been, oh gosh, let me show you. Let me go back to here first. Yeah. For the entire country of Iceland, there has been 1,501 earthquakes in the last 48 hours. And we'll come down. It's just amazing how many there are. Okay, here's one for that location which is a magnitude 1.6. Keller, which is to the north, let me bring it out, has been having a lot of earthquake swarms there. Let's see, a 0 0.7, a 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.2, 0 0.9. Yeah, it just goes on and on. A 1.4. Yeah. So it is possible that might be the area where... Uh, the dike intrusion, the eruption might start. There's no guarantee. They just don't know. But look at them all for Keller. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. There is a lot. So I changed the settings to magnitude 2 or greater. Um, same location, 2.1, 2.0, 2.2, uh, 2.1, 2.5. Um, 5.2. That was on Sunday. Today, there's been 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, that 5.2, well, USGS has it as a 5.1. Let me see if that's correct. We know that USGS often downgrades. Nope, it's over here. USGS is reporting 10 earthquakes um, for the last week. Yeah, big difference there. So the largest earthquake that they've had so far uh, would be a magnitude either 5.2 and 5.1. USGS says it was up over here. And the Iceland um, Met Office says it was down over here closer to the volcano. Going back to the Icelandic Met Office, we got three different warnings or notes. Intense earthquake activity and increased likelihood of a volcanic eruption on the peninsula. Um, rockfall possible in the same area due to the ongoing earthquake activity, particularly close to um, a lake, which I'm not going to pronounce. And the increased conductivity and gas. And I report on that. And I'm not going to try and pronounce that, but I'll show you the location. Yeah, they've been having glacier melt. Let me bring it out. And this is my other report area over here. So this is location. We got um, Katla Volcano. And my initial report when I started monitoring um, the recent activity was up in this location. And they said that 
over here there was increased toxic gases um, a rise in water and they were worried about possible flooding because there's only one road in and out of this area there see it and they worried about this bridge being washed out and all these people cut off cut off from you know evacuations they are saying that an eruption could probably happen within days or maybe even hours they just don't know let me bring it back down over here I'm sure many of the people there are prepared for an eruption um yeah they have their bug out kits already in their cars and waiting to go um you should take the hint um uh, from people who do live in areas that have volcanoes yeah they're always on watch always prepared look what happened today up there in new york one person a woman in her 30s died after being swept away in flood waters when she was trying to evacuate her house with her dog yeah sorry to say that the dog perished too but you don't wait until the last minute to evacuate and that's what seems to be going on there in upstate new york sending prayers so very sad so what are your thoughts please put your comments down below thank you very much for watching thank you for subscribing always be prepared and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.